Hello, it's Scott Manley here. And this is what everyone keeps asking about in my comments, right? The Lego Saturn V and the launch umbilical tower. Now, for those of you that don't know, this Saturn V model is actually Lego. Uh, this was a set released a couple of years ago and it was hugely popular. The other tower, the tower that's supporting it, the launch umbilical tower, is not Lego, it's fake Lego, but I'll talk more about that later. So, for those that you don't, you don't know, right, the LEGO Saturn V started out as a fan project and they have a website called LEGO's Ideas where you can design a model, you post the model, if you get 10,000 votes saying you might buy it or somebody might buy it, LEGO will look at the set and then decide whether they want to build this. And this is what happened, it was designed by Valerie Roche and Felix Steisen. And their model was slightly different from the one that we actually got. For example, they had fuel tanks that you could look at inside. But what we got was magnificent. It was like almost 2,000 pieces. It was very good value for money and it had a lot of detail. Like I love the corrugations here in the inter tanks because of course this is pressurized, this is pressurized, unpressurized. So you have to add uh, you know, corrugations for rigidity. You have the race tracks for the conduits. You have um, the separation thrusters up here escape tower the um rcs thrusters you know this is this was a marvelous model and uh, as i said it was hugely successful uh, although it is now retired but i hear there might be a return it regardless this is a great lego model if you want to get it now to display it a lot of people really wanted to have this amazing launch umbilical tower platform to make it look like it's on the pad and again, Valerie Roche and Emmanuel uh, Urquiet, they created a design and submitted it to Lego Ideas and it got 10,000 votes, which meant Lego took a look at it and they said, you know what, we don't really need to build this. We don't think that a 3,000 piece set that requires you to own another 2,000 piece set is gonna sell quite as well. So while we were disappointed that we wouldn't get this, we sort of we understood the situation regardless um of course what happened was the plans were made available by the creators and that meant that third party lego clone manufacturers started making sets based on these free plans and it became so common that they actually the creators pulled the plans from the internet um so yeah i ended up getting well this is a sort of gift let's say um it's a gift from, and it's originally made by, or the pieces are made by Vonado.com. I'm gonna tell you right now, do not buy this unless you watch the rest of this video and you're prepared for a lot of stress. This is not an easy build. And of course it has questionable uh, origins. So it's, yeah, it's a hard one to recommend. And having said that, let's actually take a look at it. So this is, it's called, actually called the Mobile Launcher Platform and the Launch Umbilical Tower. So the Launcher Platform is what rides on the back of the crawlers. And this is used to carry the rockets from the vehicle assembly building to the launch site. Now for Apollo, it was paired with this uh, Launch Umbilical Tower, which was built by Ingalls Ironworks. Uh, it had all the, uh, you know, service arms up the top, like these three would serve the first stage. Sorry, these three would serve the first stage, this would be the second stage, and this is the third stage, and the uh, service module. So they would all pull back at different times, like the bottom three would pull back a few minutes before launch, and these other ones would pull back like eight seconds before launch. So this was, you know, very, <laughs> a lot of dynamic movement here. You also have the hold down clamps at the bottom. So um, yeah, the mobile launcher platform would be rolled into the vehicle assembly building, the Saturn V would be built on top of it and then it would roll out to the launch site. It would be put down and the crawler would drive away. The, after the Apollo era, the towers were taken off of the launch platforms and they were actually used to assemble the shuttle's static uh, launch structure. And the same launch structure that launched one, the Apollos is now being used to launch SpaceX's Crew Dragons. So anyway, this model, yeah, it's about 3,000 pieces of not really Lego. Uh, and that means that you're going to have to contend with all the problems of getting not really Lego. You're going to have weird color variations between parts that are supposed to be the same color. You will have size variations. Uh, some examples of size variations, these big 
flat, uh, you know, sheets. Um, these are slightly too small. So you'll notice that they're not quite flush. These want to pop off the top. Um, so you put them on and then they would just slowly push themselves off. So these are all glued down. These on the other hand, don't have any clutch factor. If I knock these, they will fall out. Uh, and this is especially critical here on the uh, crane because there's three joints here that actually hold tension. And to hold, get this crane to not fall down, I had to glue those in. There was no option about it. Um, so these uh, like diagonal members, these look like solid Lego like antenna pieces. No, they're, they're like straws, right? They're very thick straws that you push in. There's a lot of size variation again. This is not easy. Um, by the way, yeah, these gray bits, those should be red. Uh, so you can paint those, I guess, if you want to. I mean, look, the whole thing looks kind of good when it's sitting in the background, but it is not fun building it. Other warnings is that this entire vertical structure, right? The All of the strength comes from this core elevator shaft here, these uh, you know large bricks. And if you look down the front here, you'd think, oh, that's uh, some nice structural strength there. But no, there's like no strength, no supporting strength from this whole lot. So the whole thing is starting to lean this way. And I need some tension on the back to pull it backwards and stop the whole thing falling over because I don't want to ruin my very nice Lego rocket with my cheap ass, you know, knockoff launch tower. Uh, it does actually have little... Uh, you can, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's little uh, wheels that can turn to adjust things, uh, make things move. Like there, the white room can be moved back and forth, which is kind of cool, huh? Uh, the white room, by the way, again, it's designed in a way that is impossible. It's secured by, well, it, it, basically the whole thing sags down unless you add some sort of extra support. But hey, nice thing about the white room is it does have a little uh, Gunter vent in there, you know, checking to make sure the astronauts are all ready to go and everything. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure, oh yeah, and of, of course the other whole thing about this is that it doesn't come in some pretty Lego box with nice art like these other official models. This comes in a grey cardboard box with a bunch of packing tape off it and shipping labels and you open it up and it's just a mess of little baggies. You get digital instructions sent across the internet which have mistakes in it that you need to fix and you have no sorting on the Lego bricks. So you're gonna spend for the first week just sorting the Lego into something that makes sense for building. It is a serious chore. Also, by the way, if you're building this, uh, make sure you put extra reinforcement in the base that is made with the least amount of strength possible to get the shape. Um, I don't know. I think they're just trying to save on parts to make it make it look the part, but not actually make it strong enough to support anything. So yeah, this is uh, as I said, it's Vonado.com, and and it's for people that don't want to go to the expense of getting proper Lego from, you know, whatever, Bricklink, uh, people who can't get the plans. <sighs> yeah, you know, it, it does look nice. It does look nice, but I'm going to make sure that I send some money to, uh, it, you know, Valerie and Emmanuel because I, I think they deserve credit for actually putting a lot of this together. It, it, is a, it has a lot of really nice things about it and... If you are at all good with Lego, you can probably fix a lot of the problems that are in this. Yeah, oh yeah, like this whole piping structure, like these things would fall apart, whereas trying to slide these parts on was practically impossible because they these were too small and the pipes were too big. Like, I, I, was, I was sweating trying to get these things together. It was that much hard work. So yeah, um, for those people that have been asking, that is my Lego launch, my not Lego, not real Lego <laughs> launch umbilical tower. I would love there to be real Lego. The Saturn V, however, of course, 100% recommend that. It is amazing and if you can get one, get one because I believe that it is retired. I've heard rumors it might be coming back, but uh, you know, if you want to get one, this is, might be your last Christmas to get one at a reasonable price. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.